Kia ora, kia ora, mai. Welcome to our five minute maker space today. We're making a ping pong basketball court. Just a half court, and there's just a few things that you're going to need. We'll need that ping pong ball, of course. Um, we've got some cardboard. You could use um, a tray, like a tin tray like this, or you could use a shoebox lid. We've got another A4 sheet of cardboard, small piece of cardboard. We've got something that we need for the bucket for our basketball, basketball hoop. Um, I've got this little patty pan, but you could use the bottom of a paper cut. That'll work as well. And we need a post as well for our bucket to sit on. So I've got a cardboard tube here, but you could use anything else that might suffice. I've got a few things to draw with, some cutting implements, and I've got some hot glue as well. Okay. Let's take a closer look. The first thing I'm going to do is to cut the top off this cardboard box. And if you've got a shoe box, the same would apply. Now, if you're a smaller person, you may need an adult to help. So I'm just using a craft knife. You can use scissors as well. Okay, so that is going to be the base of our court. This is going to be the top. So something else we need is we need the backboard and we're gonna line that up with the top here. So just gonna make a little bit of a rounded edge for this. So I'm just gonna do that freehand as best I can. Got my hands getting in the way of the filming as well. Be able to cut that out a little bit better. And just to see what length I need, I'm just gonna line that up pretty much like that. I'm going to have that come about a third of the way down. So just make a mark there, and a mark there. And I'll just use the scissors to cut that. Cut that across, cut this to make that lovely arch shape. There we go. And I'm just going to glue that down to the box. So then we need to bring in our basketball hoop. So we'll need to cut this down and we'll need to make that an appropriate length so that we can attach the hoop. All right, so we'll just cut this up. So of course, get an adult to help you do that. So we'll just make a little indent and cut that around. It doesn't matter if it's not completely straight. You can always trim that. All right, so we've cut our basketball hoop post to size. Now what we need to do is we need to cut out the hole down here, if you're able to do so. So as long as you've got an adult to help you do that. So just cut out that circle that we marked up before. In this particular game, we don't need the ping pong ball to go through the hoop, so we don't need to cut out the base. So we'll just take that out like that, make sure that goes through, which it does, which is great. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some hot glue around there. This will be a little bit tricky to get this to hold, but we will do the best that we can. So just place it just 
just inside, just like so. You might need to just hold that in place for a few moments. And then if you're worried about um, how well it's sticking, then you can just put a little bit more on the inside. Now we, we will adhere that to here shortly. So at the moment, we're just gonna set that aside and that can continue to dry. Now we need to take our base piece of cardboard. So I'll just substitute that in. So now we need to draw in our basketball circle. So the next thing that we're going to do, we'll bring in our board and hopefully you can see that. You won't be able to see the top of it. But take your hot glue again, a generous amount on the bottom, and then we'll glue on our shooting circle. Just have to hold that down. You could trim this off, of course, if you wanted to, and or if you think it's long enough, you can add the centre circle in. And the last thing we need to do is to adhere the post. So I've got it right on the middle here. bringing you back out again and of course for our game let's try and get the ping pong ball into the hoop now there's a couple of different variations of this game you can throw it from a distance or if that becomes too simple you can get your participants to bounce the ball and then into the hoop see how you go I hope you've enjoyed today's 5 Minute Makerspace. Please join us again. Ka kite.